Hey guys and welcome back to another one. Today we have a video that I actually, <laughs> this is the one I've been planning for a little while because someone else recommended it to me. I just had put it off because, you know, Christmas got in the way and had to start doing Christmas things. And so we're finally getting back to it. You saw by the name of the video. Today we're doing favorite horror franchises. Now I should say as a little caveat, I'm actually going to be excluding the big three just because I feel like those should be on everyone's favorite franchise list, so I'm not going to be discussing those. Which I should say though, <laughs> the big three, Nightmare on Elm Street, Friday the 13th, Halloween. I have Those have always been the big three, I've been a part of many different like horror boards in different places. Those have always been the big three, except on YouTube when I've looked, like when I've seen similar franchise things. I've seen people saying, adding like Texas Chainsaw in with it, Hellraiser in with it. I don't, I've never, or Child's Play even. There's all these things where I'm like, that's, those aren't the big three. Now we're in Elm Street, Halloween, Friday the 13th. Those ones are just obvious. They're not on this list though just assume that they're that they're there but yeah let's get into the ones that actually are on this list so my favorite horror franchises actually there's a kind of a theme with this list in that there's about two films in each of these series that i'm not massive fans of that i can but i enjoy the rest of the series enough that i still can get a kick out of them but i don't want you to be judging the entire franchise and why i included that on here based on those films so just, just wanted to put that little caveat out there. And you'll understand just based on the, this first one I'm going to go over. So first up, I have the Saw series. And this is one that I've always... I watched every single Saw film in the, in the theaters outside of the first one. Because obviously the first one was very independent and just wasn't around like the other ones. I actually... I think I might have also been too young if it actually... And did end up being around. I've always really gotten a kick out of the Saw series. Each entry, I know a lot of people think they get worse as the as the series goes on, but I actually have odd favorites and odd like lesser favorites. So obviously, like final chapter is the worst piece of dog shit. When I rewatch the series, I stop before I even get to that one now. Especially now that Jigsaw is out, I can just go over to that one. Which, by the way, that's another one. That's a uh, just barely above final chapter it doesn't fuck with the uh, canon nearly as much <laughs> that's so stupid to say with the saw series something about final chapter just didn't sit right with me jigsaw i can still get some entertainment out of the third one in the series gets a lot of praise which i don't quite see it's one of my le like least favorites but just kind of how it is the fifth one however i fucking love this movie and i feel like it doesn't get the level of praise that it deserves i'm not going to be going over every individual movies in all these different series that's i just wanted to touch on saw a little bit just because i don't know i'm defensive towards this franchise because i feel like it gets dogged a lot and i still get a kick out of it i don't know i was actually a little disappointed that jigsaw didn't do as well because even though i wasn't quite as interested story-wise i still would have liked to have seen the series continue on and to see the twists happen as they may because I love and that's my favorite part of those Saw films is the big twists at the end. A little disappointed that the series looks to be over but oh well. They, they might still end up coming out with stuff. They're still they're so fucking cheap to make. So next up is one that I actually haven't seen the newest entry in this and I've heard it's the worst one so I'm gonna say that that one fits into the uh, into the one to ignore from this series and that would be The Conjuring. So for The Conjuring, it's uh, The Conjuring 1 and 2, then you have Annabelle 1 and 2, and then I guess The Nun is also a part of it. The Nun I have not seen, do not plan on seeing, I've heard it's fucking terrible, and plus I just didn't have much of an interest, it didn't look like a good film to me, even before the reviews started coming in. But the, the rest of the series, I, just, I love the paranormal aspect, the Warrens are just really well done characters, I like uh, Vera, Farmiga, Vera Farmiga and Patrick Wilson. I could watch them in just about anything, so their inclusion in this series definitely like raises it up a bit. And <laughs> despite the fact that everyone seems to hate the first Annabelle, I like it just because it really reminds me of Rosemary's Baby. There's just so many parallels between the two, and it's still like a visually interesting film, so some of the lesser elements I don't really mind as much. 
Though I do think it's funny that my favorite part of that film is like the whole the elevator scene, which if you've seen the film, you know what it is. And I found out that that scene was apparently directed by James Wan, so I think that might <laughs> say something about the director of the actual Annabelle film. Oh well. The second movie in the series, the second Annabelle film, is fucking incredible, and it's right up there with the first two Conjurings, and I'm, I can't wait for the third in both The Conjuring and Annabelle entries even though it's all part of that universe and i just really enjoy it hopefully the nun just goes and dies yeah next up it's uh we have ramiro's dead series i it was so much easier back when it was just ramiro's dead trilogy but then they've just added and added and gone down and down <laughs> so i really love ramiro's living dead trilogy the first three films are just fucking incredible I still love Land of the Dead, but, and Diary of the Dead, I still, I still get a kick out of, even though I'm kind of over found footage and have been for a while, but, and there's, there's a lot of elements where it's like, oh, I don't think he fully understood that this kind of breaks the found footage rules. I still get a kick out of that movie, unlike Survival of the Dead, which I honest, I don't think I've rewatched since I saw it in college, and it's just not, it's not what I wanted from, it's not what I wanted from the series. And then uh, Ramiro even did like a comic book series called Empire of the Dead, where it's it almost feels like an extension of Land of the Dead more so than the others. It's all right, but it kind of shows that just I don't know Ramiro's idea of where the world was heading just wasn't where I felt it was. He's had vampires getting involved and just all this shit. Where I'm like, uh, it's probably a good thing that he was like reined in for the first three films because I think those are absolutely perfect. Oh, it's just amazing. I love the, I, I love those movies enough that it definitely trumps survival being such shit. <laughs> Next up, we have the Child's Play series and. Outside of Cult of Chucky, which is the last one in the series, or latest one, I should say, I'm not, uh, I really don't like that, f I really don't like that movie, but the rest of the series is just so fucking good. One, two, three, Bride, Curse, just incredible. Seed is a funny movie, it's just not, it's not anything amazing, it's just funny. That's... <laughs> It's got that going for it. It has some humorous moments, but it has just a weird tone that honestly just makes me almost feel kind of sick when watching it. <laughs> so I can understand people not being on board just because of that alone. But yeah, the series itself is really just really good. I'm curious as to where it's going to be heading since it's going to be kind of splitting off and that there's going to be a reboot of the original and there's going to be a TV series that actually continues the continuity of this series. So it should be interesting to see how it goes. I'm actually kind of anticipating the reboot and kind of hope it's all right. But who knows? <laughs> who fucking knows? And what better series to leave last than the best of them all? That would be Evil Dead. And I only say it's the best of them all because for me personally, there's not a single bad one in the, in the lot. I love Evil Dead. Evil Dead 2 is amazing. Evil Dead 3, like, Army of Darkness is just fucking, it's the movie that got me introduced to the series. I didn't even, I knew about, I knew about them, but Army of Darkness was the one that I was like, oh my god, who the fuck is Ash Williams and why has this amazing character been eluding me? And so it's always been a character that I've enjoyed and latched onto, but also the series itself has always been this weird amalgam because it just... There's not, there's this odd continuity between the films that it's there, but it's also not, like, it's very, very strange, especially in that there's, the first three films are all essentially having a remake of the previous film in them at the beginning. It's just, it's very strange how it's all laid out, and I love, I love the series so much, and the remake even, oh, the remake is what I consider to be one of the best horror remakes out there think that they just did a fantastic job and when I say remake it, remake because honestly it really fits in as a sequel as well as you can tell by the post credit sequence with Ash popping out and doing the, what does he say groovy I believe I don't really remember the whole concept is great and I mean I guess you can also kind of include Ash vs. the Evil Dead TV series in this as well because it's also so fucking solid and awesome and just nails the character. It really just shows how strong this series is. 
even though I have not seen the third season, so I'm not... I'm sure it still ended great. Everyone said fantastic things about it, so I'm sure it still belongs on this list. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoy enjoyed this list. I'm sure there, there's a franchise or two that I just completely forgot about and just slipped my mind. So please comment, comment below. I can't speak today. So yeah, comment below if you have any franchises that you think belong on this list, that you think are amazing or that I'm just like not thinking about because there's there's definitely some that were right on the right on the edge. Like I love the Hellraiser series, but there's just enough shitty entries in there that I just didn't feel comfortable putting it in there. So yeah, there's just things like that. Yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed and let's see if we can make these uh outros even more bright. Hey guys, make sure to comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And look, I even have a new ending finally. Holy crap, it took forever. And I'm just saying random stuff that I don't need to be saying. Oh well. And end.